1904.41, Electronic Submission of Employer Identification Number, EIN, and Injury and Illness Records to OSHA. 1904.41, A, Basic Requirements. 1904.41, A, 1, Annual Electronic Submission of Information from OSHA Form 300 A Summary of Work-Related Injuries and Illnesses. 1904.41, A, 1, I, if your establishment had 20 to 249 employees at any time during the previous calendar year, and your establishment is classified in an industry listed in Appendix A to subpart E of this part, then you must electronically submit information from OSHA Form 300 A Summary of Work-Related Injuries and Illnesses to OSHA or OSHA's designee. You must submit the information once a year, no later than the date listed in paragraph C of this section of the year after the calendar year covered by the form. 1904.41 A. 1. 2. If your establishment had 250 or more employees at any time during the previous calendar year, and this part requires your establishment to keep records, then you must electronically submit information from OSHA Form 300 A Summary of Work-Related Injuries and Illnesses to OSHA or OSHA's designee. You must submit the information once a year, no later than the date listed in paragraph C of this section of the year after the calendar year covered by the form. 1904.41 A. 2. Annual Electronic Submission of Information from OSHA Form 300 Log of Work-Related Injuries and Illnesses and OSHA Form 301 Injury and Illness Incident Report by Establishments with 100 or more employees in designated industries. If your establishment had 100 or more employees at any time during the previous calendar year, and your establishment is classified in an industry listed in Appendix B to Subpart E of this part, then you must electronically submit information from OSHA Forms 300 and 301 to OSHA or OSHA's designee. You must submit the information once a year, no later than the date listed in paragraph C of this section of the year after the calendar year covered by the forms. 1904.41 A. 3. Electronic Submission of Part 1904 Records Upon Notification Upon notification, you must electronically submit the requested information from your Part 1904 records to OSHA or OSHA's designee. 1904.41 A. 4. Electronic Submission of the Employer Identification Number, EIN. For each establishment that is subject to these reporting requirements, you must provide the EIN used by the establishment. 1904.41 B. Implementation. 1904.41 B. 1. Does every employer have to routinely make an annual electronic submission of information from Part 1904 Injury and Illness Record Keeping Forms to OSHA? No, only three categories of employers must routinely submit information from these forms. The first category is establishments that had 20 to 249 employees at any time during the previous calendar year and are classified in an industry listed in Appendix A to this subpart, establishments in this category must submit the required information from Form 300A to OSHA once a year. The second category is establishments that had 250 or more employees at any time during the previous calendar year, and are required by this part to keep records, establishments in this category must submit the required information from Form 300A to OSHA once a year. The third category is establishments that had 100 or more employees at any time during the previous calendar year and are classified in an industry listed in Appendix B to this subpart. Establishments in this category must also submit the required information from Forms 300 and 301 to OSHA once a year, in addition to the required information from Form 300A. Employers in these three categories must submit the required information by the date listed in paragraph C of this section of the year after the calendar year covered by the form for example, 2024 for the 2023 forms. If your establishment is not in any of these three categories, then you must submit the information to OSHA only if OSHA notifies you to do so for an individual data collection. 1904.41 B. 2. Do part-time, seasonal, or temporary workers count as employees in the criteria for number of employees in paragraph A of this section? Yes. Each individual employed in the establishment at any time during the calendar year counts as one employee, including full-time, part-time, seasonal, and temporary workers. 1904.41 B. 3. How will OSHA notify me that I must submit information as part of an individual data collection under paragraph A. 3 of this section? OSHA will notify you by mail if you will have to submit information as part of an individual data collection under paragraph A. 3. 
OSHA will also announce individual data collections through publication in the Federal Register and the OSHA newsletter, and announcements on the OSHA website. If you are an employer who must routinely submit the information, then OSHA will not notify you about your routine submittal. 1904.41 b. 4. When do I have to submit the information? If you are required to submit information under paragraph A, 1, or 2 of this section, then you must submit the information once a year, by the date listed in paragraph C of this section of the year after the calendar year covered by the form, for example, 2019 for the 2018 form. If you are submitting information because OSHA notified you to submit information as part of an individual data collection under paragraph A3 of this section, then you must submit the information as specified in the notification. 1904.41b5 How do I submit the information? You must submit the information electronically. OSHA will provide a secure website for the electronic submission of information. For individual data collections under paragraph A3 of this section, OSHA will include the website's location in the notification for the data collection. 1904.41b6 Do I have to submit information if my establishment is partially exempt from keeping OSHA injury and illness records? If you are partially exempt from keeping injury and illness records under sections 1904.1 and or 1904.2, then you do not have to routinely submit information under paragraphs A, 1, and 2 of this section. You will have to submit information under paragraph A, 3 of this section if OSHA informs you in writing that it will collect injury and illness information from you. If you receive such a notification, then you must keep the injury and illness records required by this part and submit information as directed. 1904.41 B, 7 do I have to submit information if I am located in a state plan state? Yes, the requirements apply to employers located in state plan states. 1904.41 b. 8. May an enterprise or corporate office electronically submit information for its establishments? Yes, if your enterprise or corporate office had ownership of or control over one or more establishments required to submit information under paragraph A of this section, then the enterprise or corporate office may collect and electronically submit the information for the establishments. 1904.41 b. 9. If I have to submit information under paragraph A. 2 of this section, do I have to submit all of the information from the record-keeping forms? No, you are required to submit all of the information from the forms except the following, 1904.41 b. 9 i and the second, log of work-related injuries and illnesses, OSHA form 300 employee name, column b. Injury and illness incident report, OSHA form 301 employee name, field 1, employee address, field 2, name of physician or other healthcare professional, field 6, facility name and address if treatment was given away from the worksite, field 7. 1904.41 b. 10. My company uses numbers or codes to identify our establishments. May I use numbers or codes as the establishment name in my submission? Yes, you may use numbers or codes as the establishment name. However, the submission must include a legal company name, either as part of the establishment name or separately as the company name. 1904.41 c. Reporting dates. Establishments that are required to submit under paragraph A, 1, or 2 of this section must submit all of the required information by March 2nd of the year after the calendar year covered by the forms, for example, by March 2nd, 2024, for the forms covering 2023.